MBA in English and now you are managing uh, a medical journal. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this transition from uh, graduating with BA in English to getting into the publication industry. So that's a great question. So um, I remember it very clearly being a senior or a junior rather in college and sort of um, panicking about what I was going to do with my career in this English major. Um, I realized that teaching for instance, high school or junior high, English was not something I wanted to do. So fortunately at uh, SUNY Geneseo, where I graduated from, um, they had connections with a program in Washington, D.C. And I was able to um, have an internship in Washington, D.C. The, the second semester of my senior year. So I lived in Washington, D.C. for a few months and I worked at the publications department of the National Museum of Women in the Arts. So it's not scientific, technical, medical publishing, but that's how I got into publishing itself. And so they publish a quarterly magazine. It's very different from what I do now, but it was a great, um, a great insight into the field as a whole and some really good experience and really made me realize this is something I wanted to do. So while I was in Washington, um, in that spring semester, I was fortunate enough to be able to apply to some jobs and, um, one I applied to was at the American Institute of Biological Sciences and I was hired as their, they called it assistant editor, but it was basically just a, cop, a copy editor position and um, I found out right before I graduated that I had the job and then I moved down to Washington DC with two suitcases on a bus two weeks after I graduated and I've been there ever since. And so that was a great, um, that first job was wonderful. Um, had a very solid foundation, copy editing. I had a wonderful boss who was a very hands-on editor and she was a great advisor and mentor. Um, and then from there, I moved over to the American College of Obstetric Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Um, my title was production editor, but it, um, you know, titles are sort of funny in STM because they can mean different things at different organizations. And what I did a lot of was manuscript work and not copy editing per se, but getting a manuscript ready to go to the publisher. Uh, so it just meant making sure that several, you know, critical things were met. For instance, did they have institutional review board approval? Have they, um, are, you know, have they cited all of their tables in the text? You know, things, little things like that at the editorial level. So it's not copy editing, but it's just making sure that it's ready to go and making sure all the author queries are resolved before we send it to the publisher. So that's how I got the got into ACOG and then I've um, eventually became the managing editor and have been doing that ever since. 